Okay, I'm going to touch on some of your subjects that you spoke upon. You know what? I can't do this at this spot right here. So what I'm going to do, unplug that. Better be capturing right now. 15 seconds so far. I'm going to take a walk real quick. Unplug this from my television. Laptop is breaking. I don't want to shake the uh, monitor too hard because it might just fall the fuck off. I'm out of warranty, so i got to walk around with some fucked up ass computer. So here's the deal. See Romeo down there? I'm trying to get his, get his outside on. We'll go outside. So the deal is this. We live in a popularity contest. All the things that you mentioned in your piece are totally irrelevant now. I mean, right about now, you know, finding the kind of person you want while you're young is not a priority. Young people, what the fuck is this on side of my face? Young people tend to want to do what they want to do and do it now. That's why in the early 80s, they had uh, the Revenge of the Nerds and all these nerd things where they made fun of being smart. See, through the course of the media, through the media's course over the last say 35, 40 years, they've taught us how to be divisive, they taught us how to be stupid, and they're teaching us now how to perpetuate um, promiscuity. In other words, you know, get your freak on. She's a gold digger. Like you were saying, it's like, bad is good. I mean, everything that was, hey, don't do that. We were taught not to do that. It's the norm now. Bad has been made good by popularizing by making negativity popular, you've grown, you've raised, you've, you've saturated a whole race, a whole group, a whole set, about four generations to be self-absorbed, to be extremely snobbish and disrespectful. In other words, if it's about me and only me, then fuck it. You know, and these kids and these young people and the course of music and life itself is imploding. He likes water bottles. Can't see his little ass. You gonna stop being a bad dog? Show people yourself instead of showing your ass? So, um, what, I'm, what I want to say, basically, little sister, is that if you pay attention to how we have been taught through the media to get and obtain the knowledge, because as soon as that TV, TV took over. Hey, why don't y'all sit and watch TV while I cook? When you get home from school, do your homework and watch TV. Me and your dad finna go to the room and watch TV. Hey, why don't y'all go to y'all room and watch TV? Play a game or something. We have been separated from our children. The media took a role at being their number one go-to place. In other words, I'm going to go watch this on TV. I'm going to go watch The Family Guy. I'm going to watch all these shows. We had Popeye and Bluto fighting over olive oil. So all throughout the course of life, we've been, we've been taught what sexy is, what pretty is, what fat is, what ugly is. And people are like that. Hold on. We had white guys over here at the house, and white guys were talking about how beautiful some black women are. You never see that shit on TV. You know? When they got interracial couples on TV, you don't see the, the plight of the couple. You don't see, you know, well, in Roots. Remember Roots, the next generation? They actually showed an interracial couple getting together. And, you know, then, you know, whatever. That was pretty sad how, how they treated poor John Boy and his black bride, but hey. That's, you know, that's what they do. <laughs> so, um, what I want to basically say about your video is that we live in a virtual popularity contest. If it's popular, shit, the whole world beats to that drum. If it's not popular, like you said, oh, a nerd is lame. Well, why is a nerd lame? We, we can't explain why something, why something is a certain way or why it isn't a certain way because of the way things happen.
that they, things have just transpired to where this is good, this is bad. Now remember when Fox first came out? Look at the quote unquote programming that Fox started out with. Remember all those shows that Fox and UPN started out with? What kind of shows were they? Martin! Mm, shit like that. You know, you, you, in di different, oh, living in different color. It's living color. And, you know, shit that was quote unquote ethnically based oriented shit. You know, it's like, okay, all the blacks gonna be watching UPN and Fox. That's where most of the black shows were at. UPN and Fox. And now if you look at the Fox lineup, it's not like that no more. So you you think about the whole plight of popularity itself. The whole presidential campaign is a popularity contest. Wow, Barack's so popular. Hillary's not. Hillary's not popular because everybody else went through Clinton already. So Clinton don't get a shot this time. McCain don't get a shot. It's Obama. Because... The media likes to build you up, so when they break you down, it's a hell of a lot faster fall to the bottom than it was that smooth elevator ride to the top. Popularity is what we based on. Looks, people talk bad about you. They ain't never seen you in person. I seen you in person. You look even better in person than you do on the internet. And you, you see me in person. You told me, man, you look better on the internet than you do in person. I'm just joking. <laughs> but, you know, the whole moral of what I got from your video is that the things that you're saying are basically popularity driven. The music, from the music, hey, you don't hear, you don't hear uh, people like Barry White. Remember Barry White, how he used to sing and swoon and, and, and get these women? No, I was like, bitch, uh, I'm at the party with my brand new shirt on, Louis Vuitton watches. You know, like you said, you know, everything is media based. Everything is popularity driven, and I want what she got. I got to have that watch on. I got to have that shirt. I got to have what someone else has. So we're forced out to go to compete with the Joneses. In order to compete, you got to have a look. Oh, wow. I got to have my fit. No. You know me. You met me. Tell them what my car looked like. Tell them what my car looked like. Radio all snatched out. Motherfucker stole the stereo and shit. I was fixing the door, left the inside of the door panel off. I am what you call a real individual, a human being. I'm not trying to keep up with the Joneses. Look, teeth were all fucked up. I ain't uh. I'm real. I'm not going to go get dressed up to do a goddamn thing unless I'm putting on a uniform to go to work or put on some nice clothes to go someplace and be in a nice situation. Other than that, I'm not trying to dress up to impress anybody. For what? What are you going to give me because I look so impressive? Man, he's a hand. He look good. Impressive. What the fuck do I get for being impressive? Nothing. Okay. And so, like you're saying, women, thugs, nerds, and music. Certain women are gold diggers. And a prostitute do tell you what you want up front. People bleed off other people for a look, for a feeling, or just because, hey, this woman looks so good standing next to me. I'm going to pay for her to make me look good. And you might not say that. No. She look good. I don't buy her whatever she wants. That's how it is. I mean, we live in a virtual popularity contest. And bad is good now. And they've been making bad good ever since I was a little kid. Popeye and Bluto. Them motherfuckers fight every day. Every day, Popeye whooping Bluto. Bluto trying to take Popeye's woman. The big fat guy trying to take the skinny skinny chick from the, the regular guy who's just struggling. That has fumigated throughout. Those little small nuances, even in the music. Nigga, kill this, kill, kill, kill. Video games, kill, kill, kill. We playing Mac, I'm gonna kill that motherfucker. You know, violence, popularity, Sex, drugs. We are a party nation being driven by children. Because old people are fading away and all sense of respect, morality has been thrown out the window because we can't spank, chastise, or even talk back to our kids now. We're screwed. So it only gets worse. And they've been too.